Are you hungry? I'm starving. Well, I've got the perfect video for you. Let's watch it. In this video, you're going to witness Pakistani street food carnivore style. Four kilograms of eight it. pounds of meat. We have to eat the whole thing. Wait, you have to eat most of it. I have to eat most of it. <laughs> the sheer amount of meat. <laughs> There's so much cream, cream and butter. I'm like a samurai, but with delicious That's yogurt. Right, so <laughs> first, let's back up. <laughs> Wait. There's a white guy in Pakistan. Can you imagine how many people must be staring at this guy every time he walks down the street? Every time he takes a bite. <laughs> Do you have that awkward uncle just staring into the camera? <laughs> He's trying to film him and he's like, I'm going. Lahore, in the Punjab province. Punjab. Punjab sounds familiar. It may be because India also has their own Punjab state right across the border. Though these two countries have a lot in common. Today, I'm on a mission to see what sets them apart when it comes to street food. For the first time ever. Wait, India and Pakistan have a lot in common? Yeah, this is the same country. It's Hindustan. I'm starting a country. I'm getting to know a brand new place <laughs> at night. No matter which street you go, you find tons of amazing I like this guy. No matter what street you go on. <laughs> it all starts here. It has finally happened after years of planning street on Pakistan, baby. I'm here right now with my man, Jada. We're at a restaurant. Look, Look at the oil. <laughs> oh. Platforms that are slightly recessed. It's a perfect place to kind of shallow fry food. Here they're making chicken. But after that chicken, this is a super spicy chicken. Tonight, I'm going to the best seller. Mm. Oh, wow. Well. Well. <laughs> this guy looks like that. It looks perfectly cooked right now. Well, yes, it is, but they're using this yogurt sauce and like now they're gonna add chilies, the same amount of chilies on top of the chicken. And they're gonna cook it in that. What, you think people eat it because they like it or it's like a colon cleanse for them? <laughs> Number one, yes, home <laughs> cleanse. Second, I've heard once you eat it that you know the chili, like it just you don't want to stop eating it. Like it's kind of like what's the word? <laughs> what's the word? It's like addicting. I mean, you just want to keep eating it, but you know that it's gonna be a bad morning tomorrow. Like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, what? Your butt will be on fire. So like, pe they see people <clears throat> are just. Their butts are constantly on fire. Yeah, yeah. A lot so there's of never like a good morning. Having a really bad number two next day, but they still eat that spicy food. Wait, so there's never a good morning? <laughs> <laughs> no, for some people, no. It's always like, wait, shut up, wait. wait. <laughs> That's why they're not morning people. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I love that. Damn it. It's, that looks. Good. Look at that so much. Look at that chili. This restaurant started over 40 years ago. We have the bread and we're being eaten straight. I'm so jealous of it right now. I love you in that chair eating that. <laughs> Poor guy's turning red. <laughs> She's just laughing at us. Like, oh. <laughs> He's like shocked. Oh, that looks like a good. Look at that. Good. He's gonna eat it. He's like, I want to have good respect. Yeah, but he's it's like an extreme sport for him. <laughs> yeah, you want to yeah, bro. You are going to get that later. Joining me on this epic protein pilgrimage, I'm not. I'm here for about a week. It's not a long time, but it's enough to get a snapshot of food here in Pakistan. Now, I know not a lot of people know that Pakistan and India used to be one country called Hindustan. I've been in India a lot. I've had a lot of food there. But what would you say differentiates food in Pakistan from India? I think more in India. 
We have to have lunch again. Wait, before we stop. What differentiates India and Pakistan? Their food. Oh. Okay, we're not talking Meat. about South India, right? Me. Because South India is its own different world, man. Right? You know what? In Pakistan, it's more meat. Yeah, it's. I think it's like it's the same thing. That's what he said. Meat pilgrimage. But then, man, there's Protein also pilgrimage. not that. That's that's also incorrect, though, right? There's also like regional differences. Yeah, right? yeah. Like Punjab is gonna have different food than Bengal, right? Oh yeah. The UP is gonna have different food that's than so South you know? Asian food. That's South Asian yeah. food. Like I don't think they use that much spice. Yeah. Or like they use like different like in India, I think they they are known to use like twelve or thirteen different spices. Mm. In food. But I think in, in this, in Pakistan, the food is more like they put tomatoes for like acid and they try different things. I, I think in India, you know what? All sure. right, maybe I don't know. But what I do know is that even though like the entire region has like a thread, right? Mm -hmm. They have a lot of commonalities. Yeah, yeah. Every distinct region is like its own country, right? Imagine like, Right, every little shit country own in culture. Europe has their own country, right? Yeah. Except in India and Pakistan, they it's just one, food. two massive. Yeah. Like Sindhi, Punjabi, mm -hmm. Balochi. Yeah. UP, right? Um, in in the other like one that like the Deccan, right? And it's the all different. Yeah. Very similar. The kind of food you get the in Punjab or Delhi, Amritsar. Y'all look so happy eating this food. I want to eat it. Different. <laughs> I wonder if these guys have like an overabundance of hypertension and diabetes. India is like the third largest meat exporter. What? <laughs> they don't eat so Maybe they don't eat it. <laughs> they just export it. That's also called Dumba. It has to be the most delicious food you've probably ever tasted. That is where it's at. Every part. They don't do like different cuts. It's just like bam. Some of those parts are quite big. That's 8.8 pounds. Yeah. Sorry. It's not that bad. I do. <laughs> I do. What do you like about the festival? It's just the flavor and how to make it, and also actually the mouthfeel. Yeah. What did she say? The mouthfeel? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, hey. <laughs> You know, you see that a lot, like in different cultures, right? They have the same thing that, right? Like in Turkey, don't they wrap like the intestines in the fat, mm -hmm. right? Oh, it's just dumped in one pot. That whole thing they got With the cut. balls, the kidneys, everything, everything. they cooked in that big thing for them. Oh, oh big wow! Over here. So this is called the Kushabri naan, also known as the Hamuri roti. It's a different way of making it than a naan. Well, what's the difference between this and a naan? Is it like a naan, not so much like a naan naan? Which is weird. It's the treatment of the dough of the naan. Are they more hostile towards it? They treat it badly. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was so corny. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Okay. Cool. That's good. I used to love that as a kid. I used to find everyone. You know, that was good. Yeah. I would eat that. Look at that oil. Look at that oil. All that oil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. There's something about the sauce and the cast iron made it really thick, that's, so it's not like that. You think like it's that's still better. Because the moisture is going on with the smoke that sets heat. I bet this is one of those foods. It's just like a hard nugget. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. All the water is evaporating. Let's finish this first. Ah, dude. <laughs> oh, wow. That dude, is freaking dope. Would you be able dope. to finish that, though? I don't know. No. Eight pounds of meat? It, in one, like, big thing. Maybe, like, a whole 50 people, like, dinner and table would finish that. Damn, I'm so freaking hungry right now. I got hungry. I'm also so hungry, like, I want food. Yo, that's, like, one of my best memories. Where I'm, like, super hungry. I just turn on the food channel. <laughs> and, you know, I'll just start watching TV. I won't get anything to eat, you know? Like, as a kid, there was nothing to eat, right? <laughs> when there was it's nothing to eat. just your looking eyes are eating. You know, your eyes are eating. Your brain is feeling <laughs> something. <laughs> oh man. I think we can try one more thing. Yeah, let's 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 see one more thing. I think we're gonna try this. Right now we're in a new joint, a new location almost fish fry. This is one of the best things in the world. Fun fact. Fish Fun fact, the goldfish is a carp too. Yeah, it's another useless fact for you. <laughs> what, 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 what fish is this? Is he said rojo. It's, I know in, in Urdu it's a raw, a raw fish. What, what, like where does it come Does it come from like the Indus River? Does it come from the Indian Ocean? Oh, you have to Google that. I'm not sure. Oh, damn. <laughs> but I know the name. Ginger parm tea. Oh my god, that looks wow. so great. For two hours. It's just like a flavor bomb. You're going to fry the heck out of it. And it's going to taste delicious? Question mark? I'm not sure. I'm going to find out for you. <laughs> Everything is fine. How can... It's like a... How does that not taste good? Of course it's going to taste great. I'm trying it. I'm trying it. <laughs> what? It's not light. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. You have to take it out one by one. That ruins the whole experience, man. Mm -hmm. That is the experience, man. What? Yeah, like choke it on up. Right Not choking, bones. but like the whole experience is to like take it apart, <coughs> get the meat out. You know? I guess you got to work for your food. But this isn't like everyday food, right? No. Yeah. No, no, no. This no. is like it's late like a special, night. Yeah, late okay. night or special occasion. Like you get that. Yeah, there's no way in hell people would live past like 30. No. Every day, if this was every day food, that would <laughs> Oh, wow, that's a lot of flavor. It's interesting because we were talking about Pakistani food versus Indian food. Here, it seems like they're more likely to focus on just a few ingredients and really concentrate on just those flavors. So I taste the color. I trust him. I think it's worth it. Each individual spice. One of the very good chefs that I've met in my life said that a good thing to eat is fried ingredients. Oh, yeah? That's it. Any more than that, and you're making it too complicated. <laughs> a bunch of Indians just took offense to that lady. <laughs> <laughs> they used 12 spices. <laughs> Oh my god, look at those bones. It really depends on the size of the bones. You can also store Did you see what she said that? No, what did she say? <laughs> he said, if you get a bone inside, what do you do? She said, you got somebody to do this to you. <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes out. <laughs> That oil has the oil of like See, it's a million fish, bro. We have one location left. We're just on the road. We should head there now. Okay. One Whoa, left. one location left, but I can't. My mouth like glands are like dying right now. I want to eat something. I highly this recommend will do this for channel. Now. I highly recommend the best ever food review show. Go ahead and check out that last video because I'm sure it's fire. It is. It 
is. It is fire. <laughs> it is fire. <laughs> so overall thoughts. Overall thoughts. Um, I think the food looks so good that I'm gonna take a <laughs> I'm gonna take a trip there and eat it, but I know it's not possible. So I'll make myself lunch. Um, but I think it's too oily. It's not everyday food. Oh, it's not I think this is trying time. street food, like yeah. from one place to another. And I would not try the the second dish, the big pot of I would try pound it. meat. No. But you know what though? At these like side of the road stalls, the best part is like the sweat. And you know, the guy working there, he's freaking he's wiping his forehead in. in there. There's something, there's like love, man. You know, there's like working class love in there. Oh, and the first one, dude, like that guy, that chicken has to be very spicy. So I would think I was waiting, but I know it's in front of me. I'll be like, sure. Oh, and no, then survive right. the next morning. Oh, no, but <laughs> overall thoughts, I want to eat something. Well, I don't know. If you've stayed around this far, thank you. Uh, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and uh, um, leave a comment. Um, leave a comment. Yeah. Late <laughs> leave shift a comment. over. Late shift over. Late shift over. Time to and clock out. Time to clock out.